Welcome to the drama. We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. the black directioner so it's another world wednesday where we talk about the things that are blowing up in our fandom as always we will start off with the least problematic which this week ironically is liam the reason why i say ironically is because he had a lot of stuff going on with him last week but this week i only found like one thing that really blew up with him and which i find kind of funny so there's a magazine that's out talking about some real or fake is Cheryl and Liam's lovey-dovey act just a show? And it's just funny to me because I'm like, why is everybody just now realizing it? Like, it's been a show. It's not like, oh my gosh, now there's some big-ass show. Like, no, this is this has been a movie. Like, talking about some on-camera, they look all extra happy, but off-camera, they're like... <laughs> but in the defense, low-key, high-key, you know, whenever you're in front of a camera, why not smile? You know what I mean? Why not? And then they were probably talking, they were talking about something, and then they saw the cameras roll up, and they was like, okay. Well, Cheryl looked like she never seen a camera before in her life, which is weird, because considering the fact she was famous before Liam was, and it's like, what? But that's all that's going on with Liam, at least this week. So the next person we're going to be moving into is Niall. So Niall's just been doing the same thing that Niall has been doing <laughs> since the break, and that would be bars, golfing, bars, golfing bars golfing bars golfing like that's, that's that's just that's just his trend that's his title that's all he does that's all he wants to do that's all he likes to do and hey that's why he's never really problematic because Niall just golfs <laughs> Niall just golfs and drinks beer and that's it and like you know what sign me up but that's all that's been going on with Niall we still I think we're still waiting for him and Louie to do the match the football match or whatever so until then that's pretty much all Niall is doing so now we're gonna move on to Harry so we finally technically saw what Harry's hair looks like you know without a hat on so these are photos of him on set and apparently the movie is called Dunkirk and that's the name that I had a problem with in the last <laughs> in the last video because I just what what is this movie about I mean I know they say I know people are claiming that it's something about him being a soldier so is this a war movie? So is this like a movie back in the 1600s or something? Like, you know, like I'm not understanding. Is Harry a main character? I feel like they're gonna they're gonna fuck around with this and be like, oh no, he's not a main character. But we ain't gonna find that out until we watch the movie and find out that he only got one scene. Like, come on now. And supposedly he has two registered songs. One is called Easy. The other is called Little Boat. I'm a little ecstatic about that because. There are so many different songs that were registered from him even last year that ain't nobody heard yet. So are we sure that these are are these registered like for him? Like did he write these? Did he write these for other artists? Like solo Harry, where you at? I've been waiting, man. Come on. And then of course we get into one of the main problems that's been happening um with Harry. So you know as you know as we all know Matt Irwin passed away. He was this really big photographer and he was really close friends with Harry and Harry went to his funeral. So this is a photo of Harry and Matt's little sister. It was so she posted it on her Instagram. And the only like the only problem was was that that was technically a clearer photo of us seeing his hair cut. So, you know, naturally, majority of the fandom exploded about it, you know, but we exploded about it in the wrong way. Considering the fact that this isn't just no hunky dory, oh my gosh, I saw Harry at Starbucks, like, no, this was at a funeral, you know, so of course there were a lot of other people who were just like, all right, y'all, it's just a haircut, calm down, you know, y'all are literally on this girl's photo who just lost her brother and it wasn't even like like to suicide, you know, like that's one of the worst um, ways to lose somebody. And y'all are on her photo talking about Harry's hair. Like, like don't comment on her photo and talk about it. Now y'all can screenshot it and talk about it on y'all's pages or something, but don't come on her stuff. She just lost a sibling and y'all are on here worried about Harry's hair. So that was the main issue that blew up with that and she ended up deleting the photo. I think she deleted the photo and she went on private or she just went on private and we're just assuming that the photo is deleted. I don't know. But it was doing the most. Everybody was doing the most. So next person we're going to move into is Zane. 
So nothing, nothing necessarily problematic has been happening with Zayn, but like there's been stuff happening with Zayn. Um, mainly, Zayn Malik is winning and looks to continue as he selects Wrong featuring Kalani as his next single. Guys, I'm so ex- Oh my gosh, please let this music video be lit. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm gonna need Zayn to dance. Zayn needs to dance in this video. I know he won't, but I will tweet him every day to get him to dance if that will work because, oh my gosh. Like, Wrong is in my top five. Like, that's my shit, like, honestly. And so Zayn had performed at Wango Tango. <laughs> I like saying that. And it had 27,000 people, man. That's like the biggest, I think that's the biggest performance he's had um, as solo, like live, you know what I mean? So, whoa. And then this was his sign at Wingo Tango. I like that they had this galaxy behind him. Like, why? Because I am an alien. Okay, so it says Zane, Mind of Mind, live in Dubai, October 7th. Dubai, oh my gosh, the people in Dubai are so lucky that they get this concert from Z Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so proud of him in Dubai, damn! So Zane had got a tweet and had said, will we be expecting a world tour soon? And he sent her back the eyes. I mean, like, Zane, you can travel the world and everything all you want. As long as you bring that ass to Texas, please. It seems like a lot of people like to miss Texas. Come on, we like concerts too. The last thing to talk about with Zayn would have to be the, I always forget this girl's name, Azalea, the girl that I talked about last time, the crazy chick who just blew the fuck up at everybody <laughs> in one day and for no reason. And um, so apparently she got suspended on Twitter <laughs> and I was like, well, that's what she get. iHeartRadio had posted about it and then she said, allowing my anger to get the best of me, I've managed to insult millions of people without reason. And for that, I give my deepest apologies. I just think it's so funny and I think it's so fake because you've been attacking people. Like it's not like this was your first attack on somebody. Like you've been attacking a lot of folks and now that it's finally made it to the point where your Twitter got suspended, now you sorry. Girl, bye. Just, just the fact that it all started with her assuming that Zayn cared enough, even if Zayn even knew about her, to go and look at her new music video that ain't nobody heard of and copy her shit. First of all, no. No, baby. And then, and then she made it seem like he copied her tattoo and just copying her whole existence. Girl, get out. She was just doing the most from the get-go, and it upset me, and I just, I hated it, and I was like, she needs to be stopped, and well, now she has been. Okay, so that's all with Zayn, so now we're gonna move on to Louis. The Louis situation, some of the Louis situation is so funny to me. Okay, okay, so first of all, he's in Mexico with Danielle, right? I think they're still there. And they chilling, like, they chilling out on the balcony, you know, soaking up some sun rays and everything. Like, yeah, dude, gnarly, and... <laughs> And she got this bikini on and they talking and they're trying to like be physical with each other and touch all on one another. And, oh babe, yeah, I know. I look good. Don't you think so? There's a pap watching us. Keep going. And it's the fact that they've looked, they looked at the camera about five times before the incident happened. But Louie had took off her bikini top um, in front of the paps. And I'm not going to show any photos because it ain't that necessary. And it's all over social media. Y'all can go look at that. So he took off her bikini top. And then he walked away. So I'm like, so first of all, you've been out here for, you've been out, you've been out here with her for about an hour or something, talking and physically touching and making out and doing and making this entire scene like, like you're in a movie and everything. Like you're not the actor here. That's Harry. Just so that you can take her top off and leave. You're not even going to stay there with your girlfriend, with your topless girlfriend, and sunbathe with her? See, that's not clicking. That's not adding up. But they saw the pat. I don't care what nobody says. They saw the pat. The paps took so many photos, and I guarantee you there was a flash on. You mean to tell me they were sitting here and didn't see something flashing at the side of their eye? Really? That's why we have peripheral. They saw it. And then the worst part about it is that it's literally copying... The Hindu pictures from whenever they were on the yacht. Like, like, identical. Like, look at this, y'all. Look at this. They made out. They're all on top of each other. They're all moving limbs and, and touching one another and everything. Oh, and damn well, there's some photos being taken. Okay. 
And then the TMZ, oh, the T TMZ got me damn near fucked up. Their article talking about some being a member of One Direction makes Louis totally qualified to remove tops. Seriously, dude's a pro at this point. First of all, <laughs> everybody's a pro at removing a top. Everybody gets dressed and gets undressed. Bye. And why did they have to make it a statement as because he's in One Direction, he knows how to remove female tops? Like, I just, I just hated the fact that they brought it back to 2011, making it seem like One Direction are just straight hoes and they just fuck everything that moves. Like, come on now. And then the funny thing after that is that Louis had tweeted right after the photos went out, right? He tweeted talking about some of the privacy laws are fucked up. Okay. Okay, so a lot of y'all know how I feel about the baby and the baby situation and about Freddie and everything. I just, the, okay, whenever he first tweeted this, I busted out laughing, not even gonna lie. Because what I don't understand is, how come your baby, your four-month-old baby, and your baby mama have been getting abused and verbally harassed and, 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 and all this other shit and everything like that since even before the baby was born, but the moment your girlfriend's boobs get flashed, you, you mad. I don't understand. I don't, I, that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, just me, my perspective, my opinion, that makes no sense to me that you suck up for your girlfriend, but not your child. I don't, I don't get it. That was, that was your child before she was your girlfriend. So it's like, I don't understand. That's always going to be your baby. That's not always going to be your girlfriend, you know? So it's like, I, I just, and then the last thing that I really hate, honestly, okay, so there's a video that's circulating of a fan who somehow, who knows, don't nobody know, everybody's been trying to figure it out since 2011, how to get One Direction's number, but she ain't got Louie's number and said, you stupid bitch, I hope your baby dies. <laughs> No, because... Oh, you fucking bitch. I hope your baby dies. Hello? Hello? Did you really just say that? Yeah, I did. Because luckily... Because luckily for you, I've got you on record and I've got you on record saying that. So that's going to go straight to my lawyer. And we'll find out who it is. So... Oh my God, no, I'm well sorry. done. <laughs> well done. No, no. Believe me, you've made it. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what's in the water in this fandom anymore, and I, I'm not going to be drinking from that fountain, but are you kidding me? I just don't know where everybody's saneness has went. You get the opportunity to talk to your idol, and that's what you tell him? Not only that, but you call him a bitch? Girl, oh. And then he's all like, because luckily, I caught that shit on record, and I'm going to give this shit to my lawyer, and your bitch ass going to jail. And even Louie was like, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. So that's pretty much all that's going on with Louie. And the last thing that we're going to be talking about is all of them as a whole, which isn't much. They were on Family Guy this past Sunday. But I, I, I thought One Direction were going to have, like, I thought they were going to be in, like, the whole... Like, the whole episode, like, I know it was called Run, Chris, Run. I thought he was, like, running away, like, with Stewie or something. And they was like, hey, let's bring One Direction. I don't know. I don't know. I thought they were going to have more than just that specific part. Okay, everybody. So, that is the end of Whoa well Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I caught some people up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there was anything that I missed, feel free to let me know. If there's any major drama that you see, feel free to tweet it to me and or inbox it to me on Instagram. I hope you guys have an awesome Wednesday, and I wish you to see you guys next time. Remember to keep your head up and smile, and always know that somebody has your back. Bye! And then we fly away. And we ain't running out of fuel. I'm running off of you. I'm running off of you. you.